Hey YouTube, this is Austin. Welcome to tutorial number six. And today I'm going to be showing you sliding doors and cameras. And here with me is Cameron. He uh he makes YouTube videos as well. Hey guys, I make WoW PvP videos. That's cool. Check them out. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. Okay. All right. So first off, I want to tell you that uh all the add-ons used in this video will be uh put in the description below as well as Cameron's channel and uh, you can go check out his videos his channel is called I Thought We Won so uh, let's go ahead and start with step one uh, we're gonna spawn a 1x2 plate in the Phoenix spot so he's gonna be doing it along with us because this is his first time as well so uh, we're gonna spawn this Phoenix prop and again Phoenix Storm I'll put the link in my description so you guys can have it whatever and then uh, after you spawn that, you're going to take out a stacker tool, also in the description. And depending on where you're standing, you can set the um, set the side that you want it to spawn on. And then you're going to spawn three in a line. Okay, and then once you get three in a line, you're going to pull out your slider tool. And then you're going to put one up in this corner right here and then over to this corner and then you'll put one in this corner up to the other corner as well as down here and then here <coughs> alright now you're gonna pull out your uh, wire hydraulic which is in the wire tab and it's in the wire wire physics is that what it was uh... yeah it is wire physics hydraulic oh yeah wire physics hydraulic okay yeah. and then you're gonna take this and this is there's gonna be three clicks on this one so you're gonna click one right here to here and you'll see the laser and then you'll click right up here i guess it doesn't matter where you put that but you know it's good to know so, and then you'll do the same thing to the other side. Try to get it kind of similar because it's kind of important later on. All right. All right. How's this look over here? <sighs> Looks good. You got to do your last oh. click. Last click. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna spawn a one by one or a one plate, I guess. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. And this is the more complicated part. We're going to have to do all the wiring and stuff. So, again, if you don't have wire, SVN, or wire mod, it'll be in the description. As I, I might link a video that could help you out with that or something. Cameron went through that. Anyways. Okay. So, let's start with spawning a gate arithmetic multiply chip. And we'll spawn that anywhere. It doesn't matter. Then, uh... Um, what, is there any, like... Okay, never mind. Go ahead. Arithmetic multiply. Got it? Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to spawn a gate comparison greater than chip. And you'll put that right above it, wherever you want that. <coughs> yeah. And then uh, we'll spawn a beacon sensor, which needs to be set to output distance and output distance only. Right. So you can put that anywhere. Then we'll do a target finder which is going to be set to 1 minimum range, 1000 maximum range. Everything else should be set to default, should only be set to target players. And maximum number 1, maximum number of bogeys 0. So the rest should be set to whatever. And, you know, you can use whatever model you want, put that anywhere on there. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Now once you get that done, pull your beacon sensor out again. And then you'll right click your beacon sensor and your target finder. And right. if you want to check that, you can just mouse over your beacon sensor and back up and see if it's picking you up. Should be picking you up good. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Right. Alright, so then you'll pull out your wire tool, which is at the very bottom in wire tools. Um, if you don't have wire advanced which looks like this which you should have because you're gonna install the wire SVN that I have 
and then it should look something like this and then what you'll do is you'll take the A of the greater than and connect it to the beacon sensor okay okay then you'll take the B of the greater than and connect it to the thing I forgot to tell you about <laughs> so I uh, forgot to tell you about this but you're gonna spawn a constant value chip oh yeah okay. which is in the wire input and output section the I slash O and you'll click that and what you can do is you can set the number of values to two if it's your first time running it and then you change the first value to the value on the hyd the uh, hydraulics so you'll mouse over your hydraulic and you know you can mouse over both of them and take the average mine's about 48 on both of them so I'll be using 48 yep. so you just change that value to 48 and then the second number is the distance you want it to pick you up when you walk up to it like on this one this is about 150 you walk up that close and it opens up so if we come back over here 150 is probably a good number so you set the value 2 to 150 and then you'll pop that down on there pull out your wire tool again and then we'll start back in on the greater than chip so you're gonna do the B of the greater than to the value 2 of the constant value got that Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Now you're gonna go down to the multiply chip. You're gonna do the A to the greater than chip. Just gotta click on it. Shouldn't ask you where to go. Did it work? Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure. Alright, and then the multiply B is gonna go to the constant value of one. Which is the forty eight. Okay. So then once you got all that done, should be pretty well completed. So you can just put that above. The reason I put it above is because it still it the target finder has to pick you up. So if it's above, it'll just pick you up right there. You can't like put it in front unless you like no collide it to everything. So then once you get that ready and put that above, you gotta wire the hydraulic length to the multiply chip and then I'm showing the wires right now so that you can see what I'm doing otherwise you can hide that and here you can change the width to zero or the color to zero so you'll take the um, let me change this back so you guys can see that then you'll take the length of this one connect it to the multiply so it should look something like this. Got it good? Yeah, I think I uh, I think I messed up on the wiring. Um, to the Let me check it out. Yeah, check that out. So you'll do the multiply chip to the greater than. And then oh, B. I was using the regular wire, which is um, yeah. sort of, yeah. B to the forty-eight. That should be good. Okay. I think. I. Yeah. Okay. I'll just go through it again. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So you should get that. Okay. Then you just put that above. You unfreeze your doors. It should be closed. And then when you walk up close to it, the 150 mark, it'll open up. Uh, you may see this little space in between here that you can shoot between. But the way I fix it is I just kind of inch it over and then straighten it out with shifty and then it works perfect it's just closed perfectly works great you got yours working? yep it's good stuff alright cool so that's how to make sliding doors and um, if you wanted to move them you'd have to uh, pull out your welding tool weld the control panel to the outer doors you don't have to do both of them but I did and then you can move it. It's going to be kind of sketchy because it's hard. So, I mean, you can move it as long as you can get it straight again. You just kind of like straighten it out. Straighten out both the doors. And then, you know, basically take it anywhere you want. <laughs> Obviously, someone's having trouble here.
Oh, they're, they're great. Screw your door. Yeah, it's it's great. Screw it's, it. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. Ah. Well, that worked great until I screwed it. That up. worked amazing. All right, so it's okay. camera time. This one's pretty easy. I'm actually gonna do something really quick. Oh, okay, that was an accident. It's all right, whatever. Oh, oh, look, it's a black building now. Cool. Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to take this remover. I'm going to remove this camera so this thing's no longer going to work. And I'm going to show you the RT camera way of making a camera. Okay, so you're going to spawn another one by one. This one's a little easier, so let's go back quick. Spawn another one by one, one by one, blah blah blah. And then what you do is you can aim where you want it to shoot, and then you click with that RT camera out, which is in your render section of your tools. And then once you do that, you'll see it in your tool gun. Everyone will. You see that in your tool gun? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you'll see that in your tool gun. And then what you can do is you go into your material section, which is also in render. And then you can click the one that looks like where the camera's aiming. Got that? Yep, got it. Then you click on the object, and what you'll do is you'll see the camera. Oop, camera fell. Yep. Oh, you know what's funny? You hmm. did it right, and I did it wrong. Oh, snaps. Great. I just got beat. I just got met. Okay. So then, you know, you can just spawn the camera anywhere you want it. Uh, you can weld it. So if you weld it to something like that, you can just move it around. So what I like to do is if I make a car and, like, I want a certain... Like, uh, let's see. You know what? Screw it. If I made a car, I would put the camera out in front. If it's enclosed, and then I'd put one of these inside and make it look like a window. So it looks really nice, actually. It's really clear. Yeah, that'd, that'd make it look great. Yeah. And screw this camera. Because no one likes that one. Yeah, that was... Otherwise, if you wanted to be lame and use another camera... You could do something like camera with the numpad input, so you would just press zero on your numpad, and then it would do that. And then what you could also do is you could... That's too complicated. I won't get into that. <laughs> Another video. Another time, my friends. All right. So that was tutorial number six. Make sure you go check out Cameron's channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey YouTube, this is Austin. Welcome to tutorial number six. Today I'm going to be teaching you sliding doors and <laughs> freaking Cameron. You can see me. Hey YouTube, this is Austin. Welcome to tutorial number six. Today I'm going to be teaching you sliding doors and cameras. But I'm not the only one here today. Hey, it's Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you can't what wing it. To say? You, can, you can't wing it. I totally forgot what you were trying to say. What you wanted me to say. <laughs> I was just be like. <laughs> hey YouTube, this is Austin, and welcome to tutorial number six. Today I'm gonna be teaching you sliding doors and cameras. And here with me. <laughs> Dude, <it's> cool. <laughs> oh God. Hey YouTube, this is Austin. Welcome to tutorial number six. Today I'm gonna be teaching. <laughs> <laughs> what the freak? You jumped out like way too. <laughs> Take number 500. Hey YouTube, this is Austin. Welcome to tutorial number six. Today I'm gonna be teaching you sliding doors and cameras. <laughs> I saw your hand. Wait, what?